What's happening? You gonna come shake off by me? <laughs> so we have had a long time subscriber named Mike. He made me this beautiful birdhouse out of cedar wood and we're putting it on the cedar tree. To, to the right like an inch. There? Uh, back a little bit. Back, yeah, right there. All right, just a little bit more. What do you mean to the right? The bottom? Yep. Yep, like that. Like that? Unless it's my head that's crooked. We done? Yep. I like it. And that's made out of cedar. Uh huh. I like it even better. Well, on this week's video, I thought it was about time to let the fallow deer onto the new Kentucky bluegrass sod that I put down a little over a month ago. I figure I'll let the deer on there for a good 20 or 30 minutes before I push them off. This week we have an opportunity to get even more sod, and clearly the deer want more sod. I had my friend Wendell deliver two dump truck loads of what's called pit run and after all that we've been through with the mud I wanted a lot of gravel and a lot of sand and this load looks perfect. Did you know that we do not have air conditioning here at Red Poppy Ranch? Let me say that one more time. We don't have air conditioning here at Red Poppy Ranch. We have fans. We have used fans for the last five years. There's a thing that happens in the evenings as the temperatures start to cool down, where we slide the windows open, we turn our fans on, and typically by morning we're cold and we have to turn those fans off. Drio just sent us the new Polyfan 502S to try out. In my opinion, a fans has completely changed. The Drio 502S Polyfan is both an air circulator and a fan that keeps you cool while it circulates the air. It came with everything I needed to install it, and it literally only took me seconds to put it together. With the Drio fan, you can experience a refreshing natural breeze while efficiently circulating indoor air, all without relying on air conditioning. Not only does the Drio fan come with a remote control, but you can also use the app on your phone to control the fan as well. There was two things that jumped out at me right away. I couldn't get over how quiet it was and I couldn't get over how far away it reached. It reaches up to 80 feet. There's a link in our description to the Drio site. Use the code Red Poppy Ranch for an extra discount. I'm telling you, it's my new favorite fan. Thank you, Drio. We love it. So this pit run is exactly what we need. Lots of small gravel and sand and occasionally some big chunky stuff that I can use my skid steer rock bucket to separate from the sand and gravel once I'm all finished spreading it. 
But now that it's been graded properly, this pit run should do exactly what we need it to do and keep the mud away. For us and our experience here at Red Poppy Ranch, it's ironic how fast we forget about the hard times as we look to the future and how we can better improve our lives here. And by putting all of this pit run down in the places that we've had the mud in the past, our life has now improved. Well, it's getting late in the year, and I have a feeling that I'm not going to get a chance to get too many more loads of sod this year, so I asked Cedar and the kids to come help me get every last piece of sod that we possibly can before it gets too cold. So what I like to do is once I pick out a rock is I try and figure out where the flat side is, which is the spot that it looks best sitting on. Right there, is that it right there? Then the next step is I have to figure out how it fits best next to the rock and without touching the string. The goal is to never touch the string when I'm finished. Okay, that's it right there. Push it in. Like Tetris. <laughs> like the the tighter. See, that actually turned out really good. Right. Oh. Like that. Something my shoulder. I just don't want it to touch the string if I can help it. Keep them coming. They're also amazing when it hit it up. What do you think, Cedar? Are you are we getting what? Yes. I like the big rocks better. Maybe that on the bottom. Like. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but my Scots-Irish roots love the idea of taking a stone that I can find right here on Red Poppy Ranch and turn it into a beautiful part of our landscaping. People have been doing this since the dawn of time.
Reed and his friend Colin did a great job. As I said before, this is Kentucky bluegrass from a local sod farm that our oldest son, Rhett, used to work at. And for a minimal fee, we were able to go and pick up all the scrap pieces. And as much as I dislike putting down sod, I know this is going to make one of the single biggest differences around our house. Once the Kentucky bluegrass takes root, it's going to keep the dust down and it's also going to keep the mud to a minimum getting tracked in the house. The grass will also greatly help with erosion and this is something I plan on doing on the rock retaining wall once we get the third and the fourth terraces finished. But grass keeps the topsoil from washing away. Our second daughter Cheyenne and her husband Christian thought it would be funny to rob me of a few years of my life. Box, I so. gotta, they have like a couple different cookies this week. Excuse me. Yeah, I'd love to try a lemon something or other. I recently heard the actor Russell Crowe describe fatherhood as the single greatest gift he'd ever received in his life. I couldn't agree more. But this is right outside of our kitchen window. Excuse me. This is right outside of our kitchen window. And sometimes on those bone chilling cold days, we want to know exactly how cold it is outside. And Cedar happened to find a new thermostat. In the 75% off section. Oh yeah, like five bucks, right? So you scored. No, it's three. And you want it to be to where you can see it. Yeah, so maybe. And I can see it. Maybe Watch. a little bit higher. Yeah, I was gonna say, are we going for me or you? <laughs> I actually like this a lot. For a cheap little thermostat, it's got it's got the right bird on the front. Yeah. The problem is it? now I can't, I'm gonna have to have my reading glasses on the window. Almost because there's no way. <laughs> Getting old for the birds. Reading glasses. Yep. That's for up close. Getting old for the birds. <laughs> It's over 90 degrees right now in the daytime highs and this sod has now been sitting on the trailer for a couple of days. I try to wet it down every chance I get but I can literally feel how fast this is decomposing and I worry that if I don't get it unloaded and put down as quick as I can that the sod's going to die and I'm going to lose out on a tremendous opportunity to have beautiful grass around our place.
So already Cedar and I are talking about what we're going to do with this side of our house. This side of our house gets the most sun. It would be ideal to have a little fire pit. As I said before, my sauna is going to go somewhere right here. And I think Cedar would also like some sort of a place that we could sit as a family and eat outside. So possibly a pergola or something like that. that you like that are not as big of a trip hazard and then we'll start right here. So how are you going to get the lawnmower in the back way? So we'll go, no, I, yeah, that's an option too, but I want to go wide enough, which I believe is 60 inch. When my lovely wife Cedar and I put our energy into one project together, we can literally move mountains and we've done it before. So stacking a few boulders is always fun to do together and I love the way it looks. Yeah, run through the sprinklers. I like it. Still not getting a whole lot in this corner though. Cool. I wonder if I truly understood how important it was when I somehow convinced my wife to marry me over 26 years ago. I couldn't imagine trying to live this way with anybody else. While I have Cedar's help and while it's still warm, I need to get into the deer pen and do a little bit of cleanup. All of the waste hay and straw from the deer is going to make the most amazing compost. Well, clearly, one of our bucks thinks it's funny to rub his antlers on the GoPro.
I needed to dig out a little bit of a flat spot for the feeder so the deer are standing on flat ground when they're eating. And I also needed to clean up all the waste hay and straw that the deer have been peeing on and pooping on for the last year. And I can't wait to turn that into compost. But I also still have a whole bunch of sod that I need to put down out here in the deer pen. And out of the first batch that I put down almost a month ago now, virtually all of it has come up. Even the stuff that I thought was dead and not going to make it, in time it seems like it's all coming up. So I have the same hope for all this new sod that I'm putting down. Next week, we're gonna get on the siding. Happy birthday. It's Cedar's birthday. She can now buy lottery tickets. Uh -huh. Keep going. <laughs> legally, I guess. You can legally buy lottery tickets. Next week, we're gonna be working on the siding. It's finally cooling off. This, so. this has been Cedar's big thing. She's been waiting for me to get to the siding for, I don't know. For a few years. I was thinking months, but years. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna get after it before it gets too cold and, the, and, and the, frankly, whatever stain color we choose, I want to give it the best possible chance. So anyway, we just wanted to say thank you. Be sure to wish Cedar happy birthday in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's enjoying her birthday. Uh, we just wanted to say thank you. You guys will see you in a week. See ya.